Kareem Hunt getting popped over the weekend. What's the deal with Weed in the NFL? I know he's about to hit restricted free agency. Don't want him to miss a little green in his pockets on both ends, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Great question, Mitch. I think there was an open container with vodka in it as well. Then there was some marijuana found throughout the vehicle. Ohio has medicinal, I think, right? A lot of painkillers, too. And painkillers, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I think the issue the NFL has with marijuana is the fact that it's not federally legalized, right? So the NFL always wanted to put on for the fact that they they drug test their players because they don't want to have criminals or thugs in their eyes in the league, right? So we all got drug tested annually for street drugs where they tested for marijuana and other street drugs. I don't even know what the hell else would be considered a street drug in their eyes. But that was an annual test. And I always thought that the NFL literally only tested for that so they could tell the rest of society, look, we drug test our guys for weed. We understand it's a federal crime. We don't promote that in our league. That's not what we want. I honestly believe that that was the only reason for it, what it was for. It was a CYA, cover your ass type situation by the NFL to do it. Now that the legalization of marijuana is starting to pop up in a lot of different states, and although it's not federally, it has been state legalized in a lot of places. I think the NFL, and especially with this new CBA, which is nowhere near being finished, by the way, there was reports a couple of months ago that, oh, that things are going well, they're trending in the right direction, might be able to get a deal done, but that's going to be had in the CBA. Maybe there'll be an asterisk, like if it is federally legalized, then we will stop testing for it because there's no reason to test for it if it is federally legalized. But I think it's all about the NFL just trying to cover their ass and trying to let everybody else know that, yes, we are the biggest and best league in the world, and we do care about the things that we should care about. Out. And we don't want you thinking that our people and our players are just out there going willy nilly doing whatever. This cream hunt situation is a very sad one. Well, hello there. Utilize the promo code Pay the Bills and get twenty dollars off your first order from Seeking. Now back to the magic. Very sad one. I've never seen anything like that. By by the way, if you watch the video back, TMZ reported the video. He sped and then just pulled over. There was never like it was almost like the cop who was listening to Kings of Leon. By the way, he was. <laughs> I found that very interesting. That was the first time I ever heard an entire yep. cop's music soundtrack. He was listening to King's Sex is on Fire. <laughs> the whole thing. Kareem Hunt just pulled over. Like, there was no chase. There was no get out behind him and tell him he's getting pulled over. He just pulled over. The cop stays on the thing. Then the entire thing unfolds, and there's marijuana. There's painkillers. There's an open vodka thing. It's basically just a complete recipe for disaster in the PR world. And especially after coming off of what he came off of, it's going to be tough for a team to want to sign him, to be honest with you. And I think... It's just, it's sad. It's a sad situation, the Kareem Hunt situation. Yeah, for someone who's on that thin of ice, you know, just keep it at your house. Just stay home. Just keep it at your house. I, this is what I was saying about Johnny Menzel. Just party at home, dude. Just party at home. Like, I understand that might not be as much fun as going to, to clubs and bottle popping and uh, money telephoning and all this. It might not be. Just party at home. Just have the people you want. Just stay home. That's the world you live in. And if you really want it, if you're really committed to it, you'll choose to do that. I, I'm very sad for Kareem Hunt because this is probably nothing. He never thought in a million years that this could potentially get him in trouble. He might have been run into a friend's house or something like that and had no idea that he had all this stuff in his car littered throughout the whole thing. But it's just a sad situation. I don't think anybody's going to be able to sign him. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's going to be able to sign him. When we hit the stage together, it's honestly nothing but fun. And... It's the moments where we bring our live show to our fans in cities like Los Angeles, where it's truly sweet. Listen on Spotify for a playlist with delicious music by Tic Tac. Are you buying bottled water or still using filtration pitchers? Save money.